As photographers, we use cameras to make a living. So what if we just used our cameras to document our living? I think as a photographer, one of the most important things we can do is just have a camera that we can use to document our daily life with. As I've grown as a photographer, I've actually been taking less and less photos, only when the time is right. And recently, I decided to change that. I considered buying a Fuji X100 series camera, but I realized I have my Sony a7C. Why would I not just turn this camera into an everyday carry camera? It's already compact and portable enough. It was a hard decision, but I decided to go with the 24mm 2.8G lens that was actually designed with the Sony a7C in mind. So to test it out, I decided to take it on a walk with my wife Haley to, uh, to get coffee. So I hope you guys enjoy. But stick around afterwards, we'll talk about the camera and why I chose this lens over other options out there.
I can't stress enough how important it is to actually have an everyday carry camera as a photographer. You know, whenever you get a new lens, there's definitely that honeymoon period where you're just using that lens all the time and it just inspires you to get out and shoot more. And that's exactly what this lens has done. I've had it for about a week now and I've probably gone out to shoot just about every, every day with the lens. So I have to say, this camera with this lens has really inspired me to get out and take more photos. Now some of you guys might be wondering why I decided to go with the 24mm lens over say the Sigma 35 f2 or the Sony 40G lens that was also released. Because the 24mm lens is actually known to have some pretty crazy distortion issues. The distortion issues have not been a problem for me because interestingly this lens is at least the only lens that I've ever used where when you import the photos into Lightroom it automatically applies profile corrections. I've never seen that with another lens. I don't know if Sony had to pay off Adobe for that one, but I thought that was pretty interesting. So with that, when you import the photos into Lightroom, you don't even really notice the distortion issues. But anyways, I'll talk about a few more reasons why I decided to go with this lens over the other options. Now, when I was deciding what lens I wanted to get, the two most important factors were the size and the focal length. The Fuji X100V does have a 35mm full frame equivalent lens, so it would make sense to go with 35mm, since, especially since it is my favorite focal length for a lens. So I was exploring my options. The Sigma 35mm f2 lens was probably my best option if I wanted a lens with an aperture ring, which is also important since I'm shooting on the Sony a7C and there is no front dial. I got to try out this lens a long time ago, and it is a really nice lens. I would like to get one one day, but it's still a little too large for a super compact everyday carry camera, in my opinion. My next option was the 40mm G lens, because it's only a 5mm difference from the 35 But the more I thought about it, the less I wanted something more narrow than a 35 and something actually a little wider. So after looking at those two lenses, I felt like I was definitely taking more of a risk getting the 24mm lens, but so far I don't regret it. And the 24mm actually came in super handy when I was taking photos of my wife indoors inside the coffee shop. 24mm is a super versatile focal length, especially when you're working indoors and you don't have a whole lot of space and you don't want to have to get in other people's space. So working with 24mm gives you a lot more flexibility with what you can do. I also picked up this really neat lens hood on Amazon. It's about $45, but it's designed to fit the G series compact lenses. So it fits on all three lenses, the 24, the 40, and the 50. It's definitely more of a vintage style lens hood, but it adds a very nice aesthetic to the camera. It might not be as compact as a Fuji X100V, but I absolutely love it and it's easy to carry around, especially when paired with my Clever Supply Co strap as well. So if you found this video helpful, I have a lot of other videos about the Sony a7C that you might find useful. From my favorite lenses to how I edit my photos I shoot on the Sony a7C. I enjoy making these videos because I love this camera and I know other people do as well. That said, if you enjoyed the small photo walk portion of this video, I have other videos like that on my channel, so feel free to go check those out as well. I will have a playlist at the end of this video that you can click on to watch those videos. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe, also like the video to help support me so I can continue growing and reaching a larger audience. And I hope I could inspire you to get out and take more photos. Go out and shoot.